What is up guys, Jake here with the next Vainglory video and as promised, it is a different uh, hero. I'm gonna continue to try to branch out different heroes for you guys so you can see it uh, and do the best I can on it. This time I'm playing Cruel, you see me, Fortress, and Ringo against Catherine, Kashka, and Celeste. Now this is actually uh, intra-guild, I guess, little scrimmage you would call it. P private match, set it up. Uh, we'll get the guild's getting a little larger, more people on. And just for fun, you know, just everybody doing different things, practicing, getting better to when we go out into those queues, uh, whether we're doing it as a team, as a guild, or just by ourselves, we're all better. That's all we're about right now is getting better. We're all pretty much noobs at the game. There's a few guys that know a lot more than us, but, uh, you know, for the most part, pretty noobish. And again, this is my first time playing Cruel. I actually had read his abilities, at least, unlike with Saw, and I had a basic idea of a build that I wanted to do, so uh, not as, as bad badly prepared as I was on the Saw video, but still pretty bad. Uh, me and Fortress get into the, into the jungle and just start our normal farm rotation. This is Yogg that I normally play with uh, on Taka, so he knows what we, we're sort of in a rhythm. We know what each other are going to do for the most part. Uh, so we're just going around grabbing our farm. We've got Ringle in the lane going against Celeste. And right here we're just in early games, same thing every time. Just grabbing your farm and moving on. Uh, talking a little bit about Cruel here, you'll see those little things pop up above the, the enemies or the bad guys or the enemies, whoever I'm attacking his head, and then that B ability, it sort of builds up more and more and more damage and also provides you some life steal. So it's a pretty interesting ability. Uh, again, never played with him, but I do like it. He can be very, uh, very good in the jungle, not so much in the lane, I don't think. But uh, he's he's got some neat characteristics and neat abilities. We catch Kashka coming out too far there, take her out, and then try to get onto Celeste. I think we might actually grab her too. No, uh, Catherine stuns me. We would have had her probably. Catherine stuns me, so we just turn around and take Catherine out. Uh, from there, I don't think Fortress gets... No, yeah, I think Celeste gets away on this one. So Lane had a little skirmish there early on, but we get out of there and back to the grind, back to the farm. They did get our Ringo. Uh, so we're just getting out here, grabbing some more gold. Guys, early game, it's and really late game. I mean, it's, it's really most of the time about who farms the most gold, who is the most efficient at that, and who is, uh, you know, has their abilities quickest, their, they build up the quickest, get their, their kit, I guess they call it, uh, done the, the fastest, because then you're going to win those team fights, and then once that happens late game, uh, just one big ace, and it can change everything. So really focus on that farm early. Don't worry too much about, you know, skirmishes and stuff like that. Uh, they're really pushing the lane hard, so we come back up, Help out, we grab Celeste there, and again, because Catherine is it's so early in the game, uh, it's pretty easy to take them down, so they have to retreat pretty quickly. We just decide to dip down here. Catherine wants to come down. I think Fortress really wants that kill, uh, but just too close to that turret, so we come down and continue to, to farm. The build I wanted to do was sort of a, I wanted to get Eve of Harvest, which might be a completely idiotic thing to put on Cruel, but I thought with that and the life steal from my B ability, I might be very powerful in, in team fights. Really didn't get much chance to test it because I was stunned constantly, it seemed like, in team fights, but we did pretty good. Uh, but I was doing that, I thought I wanted that attack speed, and then I think I went with a little bit of uh, reuse, ability reuse, chronograph or whatever, so that was my idea. You guys can let me know in the comments if you think that's a, a good Cruel build or, or pretty noobish, because again, First time I ever played him, I've not done any research. I just read the abilities and got an idea for what I wanted to do. This was kind of funny. We were sitting there shopping, and Kashka comes running in. I guess she was going to shop or whatever, but walked right into Fortress and I, and we took her down so fast right there, and then jumped onto Catherine as we sort of run her off back to her the turret there. So from there, we just dip in, and I think start grabbing. I think they're, uh, maybe not. We went back to our farm. Should have tried to grab their farm. Uh, grab an hourglass, grab an energy battery. Just a lot of tier one stuff right here to get my, the start of the, of the build I wanted. Uh, that, you know, I think, especially early game, buying that tier one stuff is probably better, especially if you're having some early game fights than holding out for those end line abilities. The gold seems to come a little bit quicker towards the towards end game anyways, so you're able to grab those. Go ahead and grab a, a, a tier one or two, and you'll be in good shape. Kashka, chasing Kashka down is very, very hard to do. Uh, so we just sort of abandoned that. Uh, again, stunned so much from Catherine and from Celeste in this game. It seemed like I was just constantly stunned whenever we were in fights. So just sort of run them off and then get back to doing our thing. Uh, Ringo was dead, so we wanted to get those minions out of the way, not trying to steal his farm or anything, but uh, wanted to get back into the into the, our farm and didn't want them beating on our turret. So we get back to farming here. 
just running around. Uh, someone else told me this and I'm in the comments and I appreciate the tips as always guys to not grab the minion mines real early game because apparently it just makes your minion stronger and gives the enemy laner more gold from that. I, let me know if that's still true, if that's still sort of the, the right thing to do. Uh, because we did it this time. We waited till about the seven minute mark to grab it. We come in. I didn't think much of it. I, I thought we might catch him away from it, and I wanted to grab that gold mine. So I sort of gave Fortress a signal, and I got us both killed because they they were all three right there. Just just wrecked us. Uh, go ahead and grab my chronograph. Want to have those abilities up as often as possible. Uh, so we we'll just get back into the fight. You know, we, we sort of lost that little exchange, but early early game deaths like that, anything under 15 minutes is not that detrimental. I mean, the the respawn is so fast. When you start getting around 20 minutes and after is when you really, uh, you got to watch those deaths because they can really uh, change the game. Kashka standing out here. I'm not sure what she was doing, uh, but she just has the speed to get away from us. So we turn around and grab Celeste. And then from there, we've got one enemy turret down, so we're in pretty good shape here. Uh, really probably have the momentum at this point. I think we're probably beating them on the farm at this point. They did get that gold mine, so that's obviously going to help them uh, catch up in that aspect. We just go in and steal all their all their, all their jungle uh, and then get back to farming here. I go ahead and grab my Eve, Eve of Harvest. Again, that's some life steal, so I feel like I would be, uh, if I wasn't stunned for all the fights, I feel like I'd be pretty hard to handle. Look at this ultimate. I tried to stun Celeste, and it literally just boomerangs around her uh, too far to the right on the way in and too far to the left on the way back out, so that kind of stinks. Uh, we catch Kashka in the lane again, and again, Kashka is just such an escape artist. If, if, if That was Whistle. If he hadn't have turned around and tried to, to stun us, I thought that's what his, his uh, plan was, then we would have had it. But between Kashka, Celeste, and uh, uh, Catherine, I mean, think about how much stun power that is right there. It's just crazy. They they had a stun so often in team fights. But we do get in, steal their jungle again, and bounce out. And I give Fortress the signal right here. I, no, it's next time. Here in a moment, we do that, and we catch uh, we catch one of them trying to catch up. Uh, just finish off stealing their, their farm, uh, get back to the store real quickly here. I think I yeah grab my boots. I uh, just want to keep be able to move around, you know, be a little bit more mobile. So tier two boots. Uh, finish off our farm, and then I think we get into another fight here pretty quick. You see they're up in the lane. Uh, Ringo sort of in a bad spot. I think he dies here. Yeah, he dies there. Uh, so we try to come in and hit, jump onto uh, Catherine. Of course, probably the worst one to target right there, but we do it anyways. Here come the stuns. You see that we're just completely stunned and silenced, and just on and on and on. Uh, they just Absolutely wreck us two on three. Probably a pretty stupid move on our part to even go into that fight. Uh, but Fortress is hanging out. He should be retreating back here. There's no reason to hang out there. Uh, let's see. What did I do after that? I've got my Blazing Salvo. I've got... I want to buy some shields. I looked at what they were doing. They had a lot of crystal power. So I wanted to get at least a little bit of defense to try to last a little longer in those fights. So right here, Catherine pr progress or, or pursues a little bit too much. Uh, we chase her down and I believe get the kill on her and maybe even Celeste because she's stopping to try to help out, which is a mistake. Right there, taking that shot. Cat, that Catherine with that reflect, that bubble up is pretty tough. Right here, get the stun off on Celeste, come in with a hit, and I think get the kill right here. My B ability comes back up right there. Boom, yep. Take a few hits from that turret, but not, not too bad, not too big a deal. I had that life steal, so I can get my health back up. Uh, for some reason, Kashka came over. I'm not sure why Whistle did that. He was two teammates down. He should have tried to sneak back into his base or just called home. Uh, took the unnecessary death there. So got that taken care of, and now we're going to be able to grab this next uh, turret, or for the most part, most of it, because uh, we've got our minion wave there, and they're all uh, res respawning right here. So we grab that, uh, then just trying to dip down and grab their minion mine and their goal, or excuse me, their farm in the jungle again. So get all that taken care of. You see, again, we're probably outpacing them even with them having the the gold mine at this point i think we're probably outpacing them on gold simply because they are so uh we're still in so much of their jungle and, and taking out their turrets right here we get into a three on three and they, again just locked down they just absolutely wreck us uh i try i chase down celeste and do get her taken out here i believe i think right here yeah beat her taken out but then i die so you know they, they ace us again. I mean, just they're winning the team battles, even though we're sort of up on gold. So right here, I go ahead and try to get my uh, tornado trigger, get my offense up a little bit more. I've got that tier two shield, so that's pretty good. Just grab a few pots and try to get back in the fight. So Kasha's down there grabbing our minion mine. We go down, reclaim that. 
Uh, I take it out. Uh, they're in the in the core there, and they get into a fight already. I believe I'm trying to catch up. Uh, right here, I try to use my ultimate, just throw a stun in there. But you see, Ringo is pretty much dead at this point. Koshka pursues and takes him out. We take Koshka out and then get on to Celeste. I'm not sure, or, uh, Catherine, not Celeste. Celeste, I think right here had gone uh, had disconnected, and I didn't know it. Uh, but if we come up and kill, no, well, maybe she hadn't gone disconnected here. It comes in later. I'm not sure what she was doing up in the lane by herself. But anyways, we chase Catherine down, and I think... No, no, we don't get the kill. Almost get it. Catherine or Celeste uses her ability, uh, her ultimate, and runs us off. But we go right back to the jungle, steal their farm again. So we really are hurting the jungle farm on their side right here, doing a good job on it. I give right here's where I give Fortress the signal. I think uh, to post up. I knew that someone would be coming up behind us here, and it is poor Kashka and Whistle just gets wrecked again. No chance of escaping from that. Uh, right there, before, right before she gets back into the lane, we take her out. Uh, so from there, uh, Celeste comes down and is going to fight. She puts her stun on us. Doesn't last very long. We can jump on her pretty quick. I don't think we get the kill here. I think she does escape, but Catherine comes over. We put a little hurt on her. Might even get the Catherine kill right here because she comes. We get a three on one, basically. Uh, no, almost got it. Not quite. She's pretty beefy at this point, late game. Uh, so we just sort of post up waiting on them to, to come out and start trying to reclaim the, the lane in the jungle here. I knew they'd be pushing out pretty quickly. So we just post up and wait, let our abilities cool down to refresh, all of that good stuff. And here in just a moment, you'll see they come out, and I think we actually get smoked on this fight. I can't remember. I'm wanting to try to target uh, Celeste there, or, but Kashka comes right over. So we jump on that, but too much of our damage is being put onto uh, different characters. You know, see, everybody, it seems like everybody's targeting someone different here. That's part of the downside of not being in a Discord or a team speak is that without that, you know, you really can't, unless you're really good at pinging and, and targeting, you don't know. So Kashka takes out Ringo. Uh, I think Fortress had already died, and they get me three on one, and that's that. And this is right here where I think the momentum really starts shifting. They, uh, they ace us there. It's getting a little bit later game. They're winning almost all the team fights at this point, and I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'd probably just our targeting uh, not the same troops. I'm trying to tell them, no, stay back. We don't, you know, there's probably no way they can get there in time to uh, stop the Kraken. We know it's coming, just get set up for it. I grabbed my Aegis, so I'm really trying to last a little bit longer in these team fights. And I wanted to try to catch them off guard right here. I knew they'd probably be swinging down to grab our minion mine. So I tried to get the team grouped up here to come down. Uh, and as soon as they do that, you know, let the Kraken just sort of go forward and grab the, the kill down here. Now, this is where the, I think, Celeste goes LD, unfortunately. Uh, so we didn't know that. But anyways, we get Koshka down pretty quick here. Um, again, stunned a lot, but besides that, uh, we, we let Celeste, or excuse me, we let Catherine, I get those two confused all the time, I'm bad with the names, uh, we get Catherine to, to run off and we just go take care of the, of the Kraken. They, they do get one turret out of it, but honestly, that's not a, a great Kraken when you only get one turret. Uh, we get the 500 gold and they just get the, the 300 from the, from the turret. So not that bad a deal. I uh, wanted to get a little bit more life here. I, I screwed up. I meant to grab life spring and I... I probably shouldn't have even sold it, but I, I wanted to get back and try to get that because we were having downtime in between fights, and I wanted to try to uh, make sure I could just sort of get healed up while we waited for the, the reoccurrence, but probably a stupid move there. Just grab a little bit of farm here just to pass the time. Ringo catches up with us. We know we're going to have another fight here. Right here, Catherine comes out, uh, so we're going to jump on her pretty quick. I let that stun happen, then I throw mine on. Uh, actually, I'm waiting right here. I throw my stun on to... Uh, Kashka, because she's coming in trying to back up Catherine. And I think we pretty much wreck them right here. Again, Kath, or Celeste is, is LD at this point still. I didn't know it, didn't know where she was, but we had this three on two. She took advantage of it uh, and come up here and actually walk up on Celeste and probably shouldn't have killed her here. I didn't, I'd sort of forgotten that, that uh, Whistle, I was actually in Discord with Whistle, even though he's on another team, said that uh, she had been standing up there. We go ahead and kill her, and almost immediately she comes back online. So I felt kind of bad about that one, but, you know, it works out in the end. Uh, return to the match. We go down and grab their minion mine. I thought we were looking pretty good here, but really the only thing that was helping us was that they we were fighting them two on three for a few minutes. Uh, so once they get their full force back, they sort of turn the tides on us again. Uh, our wave is coming in. Perfect timing here, but they do have their heroes there to try to help defend that turret. Uh, it's hard to really focus on uh, on the turret when they're there. So they come out right here, try to go ahead and grab Koshka real quick, uh, stun her before she gets too much damage off on me, use my B ability, so grab a little bit of life steal, but right here, look how quickly they turn this around, uh, and then right there, Celeste comes back just in time, throws that ultimate, hits all three of us, so we have no choice but to retreat. Uh, they are able to sort of recover here, 
get the get their minion mind back, I go ahead and grab that life spring. Uh, so from here, it's just about trying to get Groot back up. I'm not sure why Ringo went all the way back home. I guess he maybe we all should have went back home. Uh, but I catch Celeste out here and pretty much uh, take her down. I mean, she's I think she gets away with just a little bit of life, which I'm not sure how. Watch you saw how low she was right there. Watch how quickly she's back in this fight and at full health essentially. I'm not sure what she's got. I need to look and see because it was pretty crazy. Uh, they take they take uh, Fortress down. And then right here, look at Celeste come back in. She takes that out. She's low health here, but watch that. I guess whatever that ability is that they're giving each other life or she's got something. Look how quickly she heals back up. Uh, and it's just, I probably should have ran, but honestly, Cruel, in my opinion anyways, doesn't have a good, you know, runaway ability. Doesn't have a good uh, escape plan. You pretty much have to fight once you're in a fight. Uh, so right here, they get, they've get got two of us down. They're all three up. Ringo comes back. I'm just grabbing those two or three boots. I uh, figure if we do get an ace, we got to be able to get down to their side really, really quickly. Uh, the turret's on. I was trying to, or the Kraken fight's on. I was trying to get him to do last hit there, but just a little bit too late. Uh, so Ringo has to run back. I think he might actually, I think he makes it back here. We just got to get set up again, try to defend against this Kraken. If we can, we still have a chance. Uh, so they're already down at our minion mine. I tell everybody just to come back here. Let's see what we can do. Uh, they're coming in, and I think this is pretty much one of the last fights let's see here you know we're getting close anyways uh so they come running in i try to get celeste out of the way real quick i don't want her back there poking uh so put quite a bit of damage on her but again more stuns and stuff do get her taken down right there uh but look at how quickly i get stunned again uh they're gonna start putting some heavy damage one turret already down i probably should have gotten out of the way a little bit quicker uh but right here i wanted to use my b ability and get some of that life back which i do right there i've got kashka on the run uh but you know, sort of two on one. It's kind of tough. We do get Catherine taken care of, but Kashka's just too quick. It's too hard to catch. Uh, so now we can just focus on that Kraken. Uh, our last turret goes down. We're in really bad shape at this point, uh, but at least we defended the Kraken attack. Uh, I didn't know that you couldn't do, <laughs> that wouldn't do any damage to the Kraken with that cruel. Again, never played him before, so I completely wasted my ultimate there, but not a huge deal. Uh, get the Kraken down, come back, grab just what we can, and get ready for this last fight. Uh, Ringo is, let's see, who, who are we waiting on here? Fortress, Fortress, right there. Fortress just now comes back. I go ahead by myself and grab this, uh, this minion mine, get it out of the way. You know the last fight's coming. So right here, I try to get everybody up into the lane where maybe we have a chance of just, uh, facing them, getting them taken care of. And I think that goes down, they, they back doors here. Uh, and I see them going to the Armenian mine, but they don't stop. And I thought they would. And right here, I should have called back home. But for some reason, I run way too far. By the time we get back home, uh, Kashka is on our vein. Here comes Catherine on our vein. I stun them, do my best to do, put some damage on them. But it's just too little too late when you've got two of them on there. And Kashka had a pretty tanky build, was just not able to take her out fast enough. And they get the win. So very good job. Uh, very fun to play with, you know, guildmates and and have a back and forth like that. I think as the guild evolves and we'll have more of this and it'll just get better and better. It'll make us better. You guys will get to enjoy the content. I've got a few ideas for uh, different ways of showing you guys content. So hopefully you're looking forward to that when it comes out. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less.